guys, we're Dragonstar here. <clears throat> in this video, I will explain you how to use the pointers in Genshin Impact to find uh, character values uh, like gravity, um, rotation, um, fly, all, all kind of values of interest uh, based on character. So I started basically by looking for attack speed. If you know that everything is basically in text and what we need to do is find the class name so you can use that you can actually find the class name using um, some part of that class so let's say attack speed and I need to give it to you if you if you haven't done this game um, it can be quite time-consuming yeah definitely uh, but uh, the logic behind it is is the same and I tried on other games as well and it's all the same so you always take region other because that's where the metadata file is you save oh yeah by the side note it does not even have to be necessarily the metadata file it could be something else as well but it must be text so we're gonna refine just a okay we have six results we can save them now here in this case uh, we have to take the result which has a which is not even close in range to any other address so this one really stands out all the others are close in range so they pro most likely belong to the same class uh, but we, we need this one, the one that's separated, that has a class on its own. If you go to the address, copy, the f copy this address, just copy the address. So now we change the region to CA. Well, Genshin Impact, uh, I believe, is only 64 bit. I'm not sure if there's a 32 bit version. Uh, but also, like, if you're on, if you're on emulator, which I hope you're not, uh, you could have a problem because all the data would be in A, which is a lot of drama, uh, it's just crazy drama, or it could be in bad. But this makes sense. It, it it only happened very very often. It's unique if it happened. Just uh, all right. Just let's continue. So C A, huh? That you copy. It's quartz, so uh, 64 bit, eight bytes. So pass the address. Then H. Then what we're basically doing is we are searching it as a value. So. Past it again. Um, here we can just do F and X. We can just look again if this was sure. Because basically, we are searching a range. We want uh, whatever points to this address, but at the most likely, is a range between this and this. Those two values are right. Because it's never uh, very specific that it points to this specific um, address here. Since it's by the addressable anyway. Okay. That's fine, we can, we can just use 70. Oh, I'm searching in string. My bad. Word. Okay, seems we have to um, use a bigger size. It's, it's never a problem to use a, um, like more distance. It's never an issue because uh, most of the addresses nearby will point to the same class, so it's it's fine. Here we go. Perfect. So yeah, 
<coughs> we reach uh, two addresses. We have two results, basically. So we go to the address of the first one. And you will always have to select uh, the next purple one. But you can you can just keep in mind that this is the offset set of ten in hex right. So go to the pointer and here you go. If you want to know, uh, we just save this one. But just keep in mind that this is point R and just jump point R point R point R funny accent yes um, if you want to know uh, what is the class name then here you go and this is the class name then next time you can just copy this if you would have dumped the game, like, and everything was readable, like, uh, all classes shown and everything, you would see that this is class name. Um, hum humanoid. I think it's just humanoid. Yeah, humanoid. Move. Yeah, humanoid move. This is all. So, so, just to, like, show how much easier it would be. Let me show you. Let's go back to others. That's it. Here you go. You, you, it's fine to do like this as long as you get the result and then you refine. Okay. A graph, not a problem. So yeah, it already reduced the results. You only have two, but uh, no matter, it's from the same, it's in the same region, uh, so it's fine. You you can manage it, but it's not like uh, it's not like before that you have five results and you have to look at each or six results and you have to look at each address. No, what we have to do is we go to anonymous. Let's just go back here for a moment remember this all right so we have to copy the address uh, this was where we could see the class name just remember it points to the class name okay so we copy the address zero, zero, zero. Here we go, we have our results. Now, we, we can delete this one. It's not, we can delete all of this, it's not needed. We save those. We go to the address. And this is uh, Genshin Impact, so m there, is, there is nothing much float, uh, sorry, there's not much double going on here. Most of it is float, all right? So then we can just do like 0 0.1, sorry. And then like 500. And look here, we got all values, and you can tell that they are decent values, values that actually like have impact on the game, because those are values we usually modify when we first start. Um, like those are the first values you always need to look for, no matter what game. It just makes sense because those values always does something to the game. We can edit them. Don't start too high because uh, you never know what the hell is gonna happen. Like we can add them by ten. Actually, that's even too high. Okay, there you saw. Let's just go down a bit. That was funny. Let me check something. Maybe I have to change because and then this resets. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because I don't know if you saw it, but I reverted the values and my character was still like speeding. Uh, so it's always good to reset those values by changing character. You avoid it. Let's go like this. 
see what's going on okay so this is rotation rotation is there what else we got let's let's see okay we can go underwater as well okay funny I'm walking under the water fascinating I'm not even swimming although it shows that I'm swimming I'm not swimming that's funny okay so yeah uh, there's also a value in there in which we modified uh, that walks on the water but that's all on you to figure out because um, now only thing I'm showing is how to get all those values okay interesting interesting you can also see that the distance of the wall uh, has changed remember keep in mind this is all in those values we found through the pointers I really start to find pointer concept quite interesting yes so this also means that we could um, we could do something else actually it's on you to play around with it you know because uh, for me it's I'm not making scripts anymore so I don't really um, have time to go with anything but uh, yeah so uh, what's all about basically is uh, you have to you have to find text you can you can just dump the metadata and you will find readable text open it in node plus 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 and you're gonna find uh, useful text it's like a game that you dumped and you have readable uh, functions but you just don't know how to uh, find them how to find the values well well now I just made you a video about how to find those values uh, so yeah there's a lot to try look and for the other character for example uh, you could see in the beginning that those values didn't work and it's most likely because it's another one so it's maybe hmm, it's maybe this one I don't believe this one we tried because like I said I said for each character right so let's ha let's have a look voila here we go now we have this character as well but the the nice thing about this is that um, we can use offset because um, for all three of them the distances of each function like fly or rotation it's all the same let me show you uh, well I know for my sake that um, rotation was 0 0.1 should be so if I modify yeah rotation was right here I'll just refine a bit This here. Let's see, this is how you refine and can make decent group searches as well. Okay, here we go. That's a rotation. Now let's save it and see our offset, the test between base and add address of desire so it's for it's 400 <coughs> hex so no let me just do this because I don't want to uh, search them again um, so we do 400 oh sorry float and here you go it's all the same so now if you edit them to five no matter the character you will both have it that's a nice thing about pointers and their offsets uh, with values or we can say address well values of desire it's quite interesting I don't know I'm really bad at this game but think uh, that concludes the tutorial for now I'm dodging y'all why is this guy sleeping <laughs> yeah
yeah, Genshin Impact. I'm also looking for a slash beat, so um, if I find it, I can make a, a basic tutorial for it. I will definitely do it. Well, you can just follow the YouTube channel, and more tutorials will come, of course. So yeah, stay stay tuned, guys. Further on, have a nice day. I'm kind of sick these days. Uh, we're catching viruses and colds. It's the winter, guys. Take care, and you can always, if you have questions, um, ask in the Game Guardian forum. There are always people that are open to help if you want to make scripts, because that's why I show those values to begin with. So, yeah, if you want to make scripts, you can always ask on the Game Guardian forum. If you just want to have a nice talk, you can always get into the Discord and join with uh, other people uh, from the YouTube channels and stuff like that. Have a nice day, guys.